Right. Hi guys, um, welcome to a new game I want to showcase on the channel called Play Up. Um, now I've played quite a bit of the demo of this, um, it's absolutely awesome. Um, so this is, imagine if Overcooked and Dino Bros sort of um, had a child, but that child was a video game. It would be this. Um, is So it's sort of like a roguelike, Overcooked sort of game um, in that you level up unlock rewards um, this is the first playthrough of the playtest branch um, so we're not going to use anything I'll just get rid of a mouse cursor um, so yeah you ready yeah. we'll see how far we get because in the demo that is available on steam i'll put a link in the description um, you can play up to day six um, so yeah basically cooking steaks you cook it once for rare twice for medium and um, three times for well done so I'm just going to bring these tables a bit close to the serving area I'm um, sorry I'm just going to very quickly oh, that seems a bit loud in my ears which is actually quite loud let's do one more Yeah, that's perfect. Right, are you ready? Yeah. So in that case, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, let's start the day. So your average day starts with me going outside in the rain and getting people in. Um, and then they will sit down. I come over in my little red tuxedo, take their order. They want a medium steak. Then you serve them. They can eat. Sometimes they'll make a mess like so. Um, but you just have to get on with it. You can sort of do things sneakily on a diagonal as well. So like there I wash the plate like through the window. Well done please. There we go. Actually it's quite busy already. Damn. I actually got no like room at the minute, but go get their order. Two rares. I can actually get a plate for that myself, possibly. There we go. I just need to angle right. So you have to serve two dishes as well. So when I serve one dish, you'll notice that there's another timer, much much shorter. And um, two rares, please. It goes down right really quickly compared to the normal one. I need some plates washing. You won't have anywhere for it. We can put it on and then yeah, definitely we'll need that plate moving. Oops. Right, there you go. It's your service and then I will put that there for you. Uh, at the top right you can see that's how long we've got left in the day which is pretty much nothing um, so we earned 24 coins today 24 gold so what you can do is at the end of each of these you get five envelopes um, you just sort of open the envelopes and then you can have a look at what you want to buy so yeah the counter we could afford if do you need one so we're probably just going to save us money and like all of these are random so like the hob lets us cook a second item we could have another sink a counter is just another work surface a fire extinguisher i guess puts out fires which we haven't had to deal with a mixer um, basically can perform both the chopping action and the kneading action and it's automatic so um, there is a whole lot of automation you can do in this game but yeah, I'm ready, so let's go straight into day two. In that meantime as well, we could like move around the tables or whatever if we thought we needed to. But for now, um, we don't, yeah. So I will take his order. So well done. So that's medium, and well done. There you go. So I will be streaming this game as well. I don't have like a set date in mind, but I w I'm probably going to play a ton of this game. Oh, they're fighting at the door. There we go. 
sort. Uh, so, um, let's take this order. It's a medium. So I can come in here and clean up and help out as well. Um, on the demo, I did try sort of like a very automated playthrough, but it was very tricky to get going right. So, wash that dish. But yeah, so what I was saying is, um, in the demo, um, perfect, very fortunate. So it is a bit of timing and sort of coordination. You do. Um, you can use a command called exclamation mark visit, which will allow your Twitch username to be one of these people. So like these guys get names. Um, so yeah, you could eat at my restaurant. I don't know why you'd want to. Maybe you want a week off work with food poisoning. But whatever your reasons, you won't be judged here. Oh, we've got a full restaurant. Um, so yeah, well done and a medium and then a well done and a rare. Right, so I'll wait for that to go in the window and then I can serve both of those together. Okay. That's one. one, on one. <laughs> I have some dirty plates I need to get rid of as well. But what I'll do is do that after. So give that, grab that, do that. And then I just have to Block up your window. Well, you so can do that you can yeah, there's a sink upgrade where you can get um, four at once. Then again, at the end of the day, I don't think we lose any gold for not having it clean. Um, so I guess really it doesn't matter. Oh, the robot mop. It's sort of like a Roomba. Um, the flop. <laughs> the floor buffer. So in the demo, I bought the floor buffer. Whilst it's useful, it doesn't last that long. Um, and it also makes movement very difficult. A conveyor belt, though, that's... I think we've got to have the conveyor belt. I think that would be useful for, for this section with the, the sink. Mm. If I move the sink down. So to buy something, you basically just look at it and then sort of like chop it and you'll wave your arms and when that goes to the top, you'll see we'll go from 56 coins to 46. And then... Um, I'll just have to put it down and then, yep. So I can now. Uh, yeah, I can yeah. still reach that diagonal. It's going to be a bit weird, but yeah. Okay. So now we could like, so if I have one plate on there, even though the sink can only hold one plate, there'll be one sat on the conveyor belt ready to be pushed into it. Um, to be honest, not really. Food prep we don't really need at the minute, so plate storage. We don't, really. we don't. I'm just thinking if it could be nice if I could have like baby plates in here, but it's just going to get confusing. So we'll just start the day. So like I said, we beat the demo pretty much consistently, so we can get to day six normally. Big mistake. You get it. So he would like a rare. Oh, yeah. Very easy first order. And he's made mess, of course he has. Oh no. Can you push me? Come push me, please. I'm stuck again. Um. So we did... F oh wait, oh, no, mind, I managed to... Sorry, I managed to get free. But we did actually fail a level because I got stuck and the guy couldn't eat his food or order whatever it was. So a medium and a well done, please. I keep taking it off the heat. So again, I'm not going to serve this till the rare's in the window. There we go. Another double table. So this is where the conveyor belt will probably come in handy. I'd like a second hob. We'll try and get one. But again, it's roguelike, so who knows what we're going to be given. A medium well done. Although you're already on it. So yeah, I'll just bring this over and be like, look, here's the food you're about to get. Smell that, smell that. You can have it in a second. So that's one, two, just a single diner, a bloody mess on the floor. So there is a whole 
like a um, ton of stats where like there's cleanliness and we'll just take his order. It's a rare... I can't place that on the conveyor belt so I'm just going to place it on the counter. Clean up. There we go. Let's go like a medium please. So as you can see the day is about to come to an end. Hopefully we can get this guy's order in. I don't think they'll leave, I just think it stops new people coming in. So hopefully we could get someone else in before. Don't you make a mess. And he has, but there we go. So yeah, as you see the conveyor belt pushes the plate into the sink. So um, now we get some parcels as well. I don't know if this is like a common thing. And we also have a decision to make. So customers lose patience when players are in the same room. So if I'm in the same like dining room, they're not going to be as patient. Or we could add um, coffee, which I think we should do. We've done coffee before. Um, it's something that gets added to my job list. So basically this texture you can see in this box here, if you have a look at it, this is the texture what will go down. So do you want any decorations? quite like the kitchen as it is. Right, well I'm going to place a new wooden floor and I want a cream, oh that's a cream floor, that's horrible, oops, well I'll just redo it with this wood, actually yeah, so the, the wallpaper actually looks like rosa wallpaper, and I'll have this as a little storeroom, so if I open this, this is my coffee thing, and I do actually think, yeah, we have sort of notice the trend of it will always be sort of decorations so I don't fully know what the one diamond is it's probably like niceness and I don't know what the minus one food is um, whether it makes them less hungry or but yeah at the minute we haven't really done much with decorations I think so. by that floor and put it in here there we go new floor down in that little storeroom yeah I think so as well so 74 money we're getting there what's this actually Oh, is this a wallpaper? Yeah, so this is what a wallpaper looks like, and I'm going to now brown out this room. It it's looks kind of a bit a horrible. I'm not a moron. Stop name calling. Right, I think we'll start. Ready to start. So the wall order now is second dish, which does keep them in here a lot. Um, but the coffee isn't too bad to do. Um, medium, uh, sorry, rare, please. Thank you. Take plate, table or two. One of these will want coffee, no doubt. So, uh, rare and a well done. The rain sounds nice, it's got really nice ambience. But, nope, they've just left. So, yep, here we go, come on, speed run. Oops. So, yeah, there is also a Discord uh, for this game as well. Which I will basically I'll link everything. I'll link the website, the Steam page, and the Discord. Um, so this guy here is wanting a second order, which will be naturally coffee. So you take a cup, put it down, give him the coffee. There we go. This person would like a medium, which we have. So as you can see, things get a little busier, and obviously the coffee does make us a bit more money as well. I could have a prep station really with four coffees ready, but. The coffees are not too hard to make at my moment. Well done. But the prep station allows you to store four of the identical items. Um, so it couldn't have like a well done steak and a medium steak because they're classed as different things. So here we go. Two more people from outside. Oop, we've got another coffee. So I'll take their order two rares and then I'll grab this guy's coffee for him. There you go. And one rare, two rare messy eaters and of course they want a coffee Ooh, and um, they both want coffees um, I'm just going to put that coffee there for the time being because I want two then one coffee for you one for you it saves me having to 
rush back and forth. They are so messy. But thankfully at the end of the day, I'll just try and clean up. Be nice if like the mess actually like carried over, that'd be pretty cool. But forty coins for today. Like yeah. Noted from before. Another conveyor, chopping board, which we're not gonna need. Candle box. There's danger. But it cooks faster, but can also uh, so obviously here you can see items have not only good things, but they do also have negative traits to them. If you want your floor buff, you can have it, but don't do the kitchen. No, I don't want it to be honest. Um, possibly another conveyor belt could be useful. Yeah. Um, it would. You just move the sink. Down one and then yeah, I think just move the. Oops, because we've got so you can also um, turn on and turn off chairs as well. So I could make this a table for one, um, but I'm so I've turned off this bottom chair because I don't want to have to run sort of through people like that. I don't want to get trapped. Um, but yeah, I think we're probably just good to go. Yeah. So this is day four. Like again, like I said, we've reliably got to day six pretty easily. Uh, so I'm going to push this guy in, try and get his order a bit quicker. Speed run strats, any percent. So he wants a rare stick. I've just realised mm -hmm. I can actually just have a cup of coffee um, ready. Because it just sits there ready. It doesn't go anywhere. That's cool. Uh, rare, please. So what you can do as well is you can automate things in this game. So we could have technically the conveyor belts coming out here to a table and the people would basically just take the food off and like eat it themselves as and when they needed to. We have got a table for two which can sort of put a bit of a strain on. Um, well done and a rare. So I just got to wait on this rare. I, if I serve the well done, the other guy will become too impatient. So yeah, like look how quick that meat goes down. You have to be pretty quick. Um, this guy would like a well done. These guys would like two coffees. So I'm going to put one coffee there. Yeah, please. So I need to get rid of these plates, so I'll just put them on the conveyor belt and then they can have the coffees. I think that was the issue. So I think that mess actually slows us down. I think that's why you were having difficult getting out. And hopefully when you pick that up, that'll move all the others down and I can... I'll oh, just chuck it there, sorry. Um, a medium, thank you, that's very fortunate. I'll put another coffee down, ready to go. He wants another coffee. Just pick your coffee up. What do you want? Oh, coffee. There you go. This guy would like a rare. But yeah, this game's like incredibly fun and every single playthrough feels different. Um, I think after this playthrough, um, I kind of want to run another, but um, with me in the kitchen. Yeah. Give that a go, and I'll sort of try and show you how, like, on the second run, it can be much different. I don't think there's anyone else going to come in. Come on, anyone? Nope, I got dragged in. 40 bucks, though, it's pretty good. A bin, another conveyor belt, a fire extinguisher, another counter, and an automatic dishwasher. Yes. Activate to clean up at four plates at once. Bye. So, yeah, um, we'll definitely buy that. So, so, what about having that at the top? Actually, no, it's going to be kind of a bit hard. Yeah, just pop it there, it works. If you pick it up and place it, it'll face you. So, that'll be facing to the right. No, that's correct. 
Like that's facing your character. But will this, these go in? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think that matters. Okay. Um, do you want a conveyor where I can serve the customers? Or is that not worth um, To be honest, even... Right, yeah. just we'll buy the conveyor and I think we'll buy the countertop. Okay. Let's have a look here. Right, I'm going to buy this conveyor belt. I know there's one in there and I want you to buy that as well, even if we just store them in the room above. Okay. Um, same with countertops for now, because they're generally just useful. So I kind of think you could probably, we could probably have this come out. Um, let's have a think about it. Um, so put the f coffee over here move these blueprints you don't have to buy them as well you can just pick things up so the people would go and sit there and I could have two chairs and also if I put someone there I could have those two chairs so that should work and then um, is there any way you can what about you can you move the sink one up Oh wait, you can't. Um, either I was just thinking I can't really put the butt plates in, but I suppose. Oh, what about? Oh no, if that table moves, you know. Why don't you? Mm. I was thinking if the conveyor belt can move up one, the table and chair would block this door, but I don't really need to get out. Yeah, let's give that a whirl. Well, to be honest, you want to just move the conveyor belt so I can. Put it straight on there. Is there any way I could do? I'd have to squeeze through. It'd be a bit awkward. Oops. What and just have that as a two. And maybe have my coffee down here. I mean, I will. It'll be a tight squeeze getting through. But again, I'm not having to. You what, sorry? Um, now I'm all right. I think. And then I'll just literally. I probably could just stand here and be like, "Yeah, that's clean." bin we don't really need we've got one so yeah let's give this a go so now we've got a bit of automation uh, this is something we haven't found a great setup for it yet but it sort of works and there is a way you can sort of like take orders without actually being at the table as well which is i guess like i don't know a very efficient system so rare oh shit it's this thing again isn't it but yeah we forgot about this last time as well yeah yeah, just you don't need them counters there then. Um, so he would like a coffee. I'm just going to get the coffee ready and take it over to him. Yeah. Um, medium and a well done, please. So if you want to... Well, I guess if you want to put them here, I'll serve them. So now like the conveyor belts have actually been... Shit, shit, shit. Yes, I have. Oops. Yeah, we've failed. And you basically get, like, it's a roguelike. I didn't think. Oops. So you get basically one mistake. So that's completely my bad. So these were the upgrade cards. It just sort of gives you a bit of a recap. Um, we are level three. We get a plant in the garage. And we go back to our headquarters. So, yeah, there's me saying we can complete day six easily. Well, if I'm going to now be there... But, yeah. So I'm going to get changed. Fair enough. Well, so will I then. So, up here you have paints where you can change the colour of your character. Um, and you can sort of like, yeah, there's three different outfits. Like an apron where you got your ass out, which I'll, oh, yeah, why not? So, yeah, I'm going to stop this here. This has obviously been part one. Um, I definitely like most recommend like wish listing this game and keeping an eye on its progress i believe this game is going to be huge um but thank you very much for watching um and yeah i'm going to record another part of this which i'll upload at some point thanks for watching see you next time